Hey everyone, this is Grant, and today we are playing with Muffin Zeef Pocket Clocket, or as I like to call it, Pocket Mito. So, what I have going on here is I have a patch set up on my modular. Um, it consists of one melodic voice and some percussion hits. It's all great. Uh, sequencer our music is running order by endorphins. I'm also using Mito to trigger the hi-hat and Metropolix to trigger the melodic voice. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take all of those things that are being triggered by my modular sequencers and I am going to trigger them using Pocket Clock It. What is Pocket Clock It? Uh, Pocket Clocket is a four-channel clock divider and random gate sequencer. So when it is in clock division mode, you have divisions of one through eight. Uh, and in random gate mode, you have obviously random gates that you can loop up to eight steps. All you have to do is feed it a clock. So I am going to hold this button till we get an R. So right now we are in random gate mode. So when I play my sequencer and give it a clock, Pocket Clock it is randomly triggering all of the percussion hits and the melodic voice based on the incoming clock. Essentially, this is how Mito and Deviant work together. Mito being the clock divider and Deviant being the source of random. If you hold this button again, it goes into clock mode or clock divider mode. This is pretty self-explanatory. Use these buttons to change the clock division per channel. tool. If you find a sequence that you like, I'm going to go to the first channel. Now I'm going to use this to loop eight steps of the sequence. Hold loop. This thing's awesome. You can use it for modular, you can use it with pocket operators, with your Volcas, uh, and it, it will bring an element of random to all those things. Muffin's Eve, pocket clock it. 